This is Nick with Rhino Tool Company, and we'll be going over the Loctite procedure. We'll be covering the installation of the clutch housing to the engine, as well as the clutch housing to the main body. For this, you will need a ratchet wrench, a torque wrench, a 3 16 hex bit, and a five millimeter hex bit. You will also need Loctite 243 thread locker, Loctite 7649 primer N, and Loctite's 518 gasket eliminator. You will also need acetone to clean up the gasket eliminator when you're done. First step, you will prime all bolt holes Clean off the mating surface, prime the clutch housing bolt holes, clean off the surface. You will want to hit the clutch housing with a light coat of the primer to help the gasket eliminator adhere. Prime your bolts. On Honda's fan cover, there are four bolt holes. You will apply a small bead of their 518 gasket eliminator around each bolt hole, making sure not to get the material inside of the threads. Once that is done, you will lock tight the four clutch housing bolts. You will only lock tight the bolts on this one as the holes on the Honda fan cover are a through bolt. When installing the clutch housing, we will lock tight both the bolt hole and the bolts on the clutch housing as this bolt hole is a blind hole and does not exit through the other side. With your ratchet wrench and a five millimeter hex bit socket, you will drive them down to their hand snug. Then, using your torque wrench set to 95 inch pounds, you will torque each bolt making sure to do it in a star pattern. Once that is complete, you'll move over to your body assembly, making sure that it, the whole cavity is filled with lubricant. You will lightly spray the mating surfaces with Loctite primer allowing time for it to wick off. You will apply Loctite thread locker to the bolts. As well as the bolt holes, as these are blind holes. Once that is complete, you will take your gasket eliminator and apply a small bead around the outside diameter of the body, then going back, making sure that you circle around each bolt hole to allow proper coverage of the gasket eliminator. Once the clutch housing with engine assembly is attached to the main body, you will grip both, making sure that they do not separate. Flip the body over, you ins install all six of the main body bolts. Once all bolts are hand tight, you'll take your torque wrench and set it to 75 inch pounds. Starting in the upper left hand corner, you will torque that bolt, moving 
to the opposite side, you'll torque the middle bolt. Moving back to the left side, you'll torque the bottom bolt. You will then move to the opposite side again, torquing the upper bolt. Moving back to the left side, you'll torque the center bolt by the last bolt on the right side at the bottom. Once that is done, you can take your rag with a little bit of acetone and clean up any residual gasket eliminator that is on the mating surfaces. You will not have to worry about any of the gasket eliminator getting in and mixing with the lubricant as they both are compatible with one another. And that is the proper procedure for installing the Loctite thread locker and gasket eliminator.